beyond his outstanding accomplishments in sales and programming, Bud was also a remarkable broadcast leader. He was a tenacious advocate for over-the-air radio and television. Bud's support of the program carriage rules as part of the 1992 Cable Act helped sustain diverse voices on the airwaves and allowed free and local broadcasting to retain competitive forces in today's media landscape. Bud was simply a true giant of broadcasting. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to Las Vegas. Uh, we're thrilled to have you here again. And the man that, uh, that we're here to honor tonight, I am most proud to say is one of the dearest friends I have in the world. And uh, he gave me a lot of pearls of wisdom. I said to him one time, Bud, when I introduce someone, how best do I keep that interest in, in the audience and keep people from going to sleep? And he said, well, when you finish saying it, shut up. <laughs> but it was that kind of guy. If you wanted to know something, you simply ask him and he would tell you. They didn't come any better than Bud Paxson, and they don't. I think Emerson might have said at one time that greatness is he that reminds you of no other. Well, in that context, Bud Paxson is truly the epitome of greatness. I would like to introduce another great, great artist, a beautiful lady. I could stand here for days and heap accolade up on top of accolade about this gorgeous lady as an actress, as, uh, as a humanitarian, as just plain a human being. All I have to say is her name, and you'll know who that is. Would you welcome along with me, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Sharon Stone. It's so great to be introduced by Wayne Newton in Vegas. <laughs> Um, you know, if you, if you ask Bud, and I had the extraordinary pleasure to ask Bud many things, but if you ask Bud what was the key to his success and to the things that he did, he would always say that he went to his God. Bud was a devout, devout Christian, and everything that he did, he talked over with his God. And many people, when they <laughs> use their religion as, um, as a tent pole, use it to not do things. Bud used his relationship with his God to do things, to kick down doors against racism, to protect children, to be fair. Bud would spend more than he needed to spend in a deal to be fair, to be good, to be kind. And then Bud ended up being a winner because Bud looked at the big picture. And in Bud's big picture, being good meant being great. Bud was a great man, a pillar of the community and where he lived in his comfort vacation time in Kalispell, Montana. When Bud died, the local volunteer firemen went down to the fire station, pulled the fire truck out in the snow by himself, and stood on top of the flag post and lowered the flag to half mast all alone and stood at salute by himself. That is the kind of respect that Bud Paxton endeared. 
everywhere. That is what I think it means to live in the truth of your own spirit, in the truth of what goodness means to you. Bud was an example of when good becomes great because you stand in the truth of your beliefs. It's such an honor to be here to represent Bud because Bud represented everything that was good. I get the great, great, great honor to stand here with Wayne and introduce Bud's beautiful wife and our family's very, very dear friend, Mrs. Marla Paxton. It is such an honor to be here today on behalf of the Paxson family, who are all here, and all of our friends that have flown in to be here and support me. Thank you so much. I have to give a special thank you to Wayne Newton, who just had his knee done, what, four days ago? What a, that's a great friend. And for Sharon to take time off of filming means so much to me, you guys. Thank you. I want to thank the NAB for this amazing award, but it was the biggest advocate for broadcasters, and uh, I want to think that I was the love of his life, but I think it was broadcasting. Um, it was also a special time for us because his birthday always fell during the NAB convention. So um, we had some fun parties, Dean Goodman. Um, and uh, so it was a very, very special time for us, and uh, he would be so honored over this. And I am so proud to be here to get it. Thank you.